Uh, once again, Mithrot mission is the blue side, uh, starting to the west this time around, and uh, the Undersea Cucumbers, their opponents as the yellow team to the east. Uh. Yeah, and once again, the tank line is from both sides, extremely similar, only one tank being different once again here. Calliope in the ISP, of course, and Dexta in that Pershing. So other than that, exactly the same, and right now we can already see Mithrot mission kind of spreading out. Yes, well, oh. they're destroying pretty much all the, um, well, just uh, the, 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 the houses and whatnot in their starting position, just in case there's a capture, it makes it easier to land shots on whoever's trying to capture the base, but uh, it, it looks like they're going to go for a traditional northern pass maneuver, yeah. Ripper already making it here to the central hill. To, oh, and Poker T being spotted as well. But they are going to both just back out of that engagement here. So the, the early on, the AMX-13 spotting each other uh, along that kind of southern hilltop area, whereas the other tanks slowly progressing up their northern part of the map. Yeah, it's it's quite uh, standard to see uh, the fastest tanks going for the water uh, earlier on because uh, if you can manage to uh, position yourself, as Andy mentioned, uh, towards that hilltop uh, down south, then you will be able to land shots on the heavy tanks uh, progressing towards the northern pass. So it's, a, it's a nice cutting angle, so to speak. And look at that, you've got Poker T uh, that, that was already positioned uh, to that hill pretty much. But but the uh, myth tanks have already taken position on the cover, so uh, yeah, too bad. Trying to do a Night Eagles uh, sort of maneuver, but it didn't work out this time around. Yeah, and, uh, pretty, oh, and a, actually a shot landing there on the top 14-12. Uh, he has to be careful not to take too much damage, although he is in the T32. So yeah, that was courtesy of the 1390 on top yeah, of the yeah, yeah. Actually, so uh, there you go. Help me, or Ripper. Yeah, help me please, actually. Actually, barely dodging a shot right there. Bridge burn being spotted as well, so... I think the... Actually, I'm curious to see how exactly the Undersea Cucumbers are positioned. I know they have at least a couple of tanks up there out towards the hilltop. There we go. Yeah, we can see their positioning here. Actually, very similar lineups coming out. A uh, stronger presence uh, to but, the water, though. Yeah, um, yeah, but, de but definitely the Undersea Cucumbers have more tanks down to this point down there to the southern part of the map. Which, which might be problematic. Remember, uh, last time we saw that happen, pretty much, if you leave the northern pass completely unprotected, eventually you will get surrounded. That's what I'm afraid of here yeah. for the cucumbers. Yeah, definitely. That's so. my main concern. Can't remember exactly who it was, but remember, it's just uh, uh, we, we saw that like net kind of surrounding maneuver here, just uh, all around that northern pass, which gives you uh, excellent cover through those rocks. And then whoever's in the water is just doomed. Yeah, oh, look at this. but. Oh my god, Poker T and Carabao coming in to try and 2v1 Calliope. The other forces on their team trying to provide backup cover. Oh, Calliope going down there in the IRC. The first tier falling, and it looks like a huge advantage going to the Undersea Cucumbers. And they're going to continue pushing in. Well, they should stop. I think they should stop. Or at least slow down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They should, they should uh, stop because they, they got the oh. advantage that they needed, but now they're just walking into enemy fire. Yeah, and they're so. taking way too much damage. Exactly. I think. Look at Poker T down to one shot. Yeah, Alex, actually help me please. Yeah, he's reloading, I believe. So he's yeah. gonna try to run away from here. He Top was, and Ripper coming into back. Uh, he was up. an excellent maneuver, so to speak, to uh, just come in and and take out that uh, tier eight. But they should have stopped. Uh, yeah, if because they, if they lose a tank, then it's, it's gonna it's be for exactly nothing. exactly. And uh, it was an unnecessary risk to take. Uh, really, I, that's what I think. They did manage to land some damage, but look at all the uh, hit points that were taken away from them, pretty much. So uh, yeah, I think once again that comes with experience. Um, they should have stop right there and uh, still waited on the cover because then the uh, tier point advantage alone would have been enough and would have forced uh, Myth to actually come out of cover themselves. Yeah, I mean, it's not horrible, right, you know, what they did. It's just that I think they were just trying to land more damage and maybe get, you know, an extra tank that, that was, you know, a maybe. It's greed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But, oh, look at this. Esp here trying to move in here. He manages to take down. Help me, please. Nice shot by him, but he is going to trade his life for that. Unless, actually, no. Top going down before he can finish off any of those extremely low hit point tanks on the Undersea Cucumber side. Like, look at that. Oh, there's three tanks literally on the Undersea Cucumber side that are down to less than 20 health. Oh, yeah, this is gonna be over. Well, well, pretty.